Hey yogis, today you will be practicing a total body workout for weight loss. It's gonna be awesome. First, I have a, just a little favor to ask of you. Over the years, thousands of people have joined my workshops, yoga classes, and retreats. And now I'm excited to share the beginnings of a special project that I've been working on. I'm planning to create a resource where I share a step-by-step -step yoga journey with you so you too can get the transformational benefits of a structured practice at home. In order to make it something that is really useful to you, it would be incredible if you would answer a few questions. Please take this three minute survey. The link is in the description below. Every answer helps and will help me to serve you better. And I genuinely appreciate you taking the time to fill it out. Okay, so get your yoga mat, Get your blocks and let's get going. We'll start sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and close your eyes. Take a long, smooth breath. We'll start with an affirmation. So repeat it out loud or quietly to yourself. I am at peace with my own feelings. I am safe where I am. I love and approve of myself. And then let's roll forward and make our way into child's pose. And tuck your toes under and have your knees in line with your ankles and extend the arms forward. Spread your fingers. Take a long, smooth breath in and an equal exhale. Then next inhale, come up. Bring your chest forward. Lift your chin and tailbone. As you exhale, round your back and take your hips all the way back towards your heels. A long, smooth breath as you inhale to come forward. Widen the collarbones, lift your chin and tailbone, then exhale all the way back, rounding the back hips to heels. And again, inhale. Make your way forward a little longer breath this time if you can. Draw your shoulder blades towards your waist and then exhale to round the back and take the hips all the way back to the heels. And inhale, come forward again onto the knees. Bring the chest forward, lifting chin and tailbone. Exhale, pull the ribs and belly in as you round the back. And then come to neutral. Turn your inner elbows forward slightly and then tuck the toes into downward dog. And then stretch the left heel down as you keep the right knee bent. And switch. Bicycle the legs back and forth. Make sure your arms are shoulders distance apart and your feet are hips width. And bend both knees, stick the hips up and then extend the heels toward the floor any amount they never have to touch. Then looking forward, walk your feet all the way to the hands. Inhale, bring hands to shins, look up to lengthen. Fold, exhale, bend the knees as needed and then press down through the feet. Inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, bring the hands down. Come to the top of the mat, feet together or hip socket distance apart. Inhale, sweep the arms out, around and up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold forward over your legs. Inhale, look up to lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank. Knees can be up or down. We're going to lower slowly, slowly to the floor. Slide your hands by your low ribs. Press all ten toenails down. Peel the chest up for cobra. And then lower down. Exhale. Tuck your toes under. Knees can stay down or lift the legs up. Exhale all the way to plank. And then to downward facing dog. Stretch back. Again, arm shoulders distance, feet hips width. Spread your fingers wide. Press into the base of your fingers and lift up through your forearms as you stretch back and lengthen your spine. Look forward and bend the knees and step your feet to your hands. Then inhale, look up, lengthen. Fold forward as you exhale. Press with the feet, rise up on your inhale and bring the hands down back to the top of the mat. As you inhale, sweep the arms up, look up to lengthen. As you exhale, hinge forward from your hip creases and fold Uttanasana. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, make your way to plank. Hug your elbows in, shoulders no lower than elbows, please. Inhale into up dog, thighs and knees off the floor or stick with cobra. Then come to plank. You can hold it or lower chaturanga again, then press to down dog. 
Breathe here, even out the breath. So I've added a couple extra chaturangas. You can skip them and hold plank if that's better for you. I added them in to create heat. So we're working on yoga for weight loss. So we're gonna turn it up a little notch. Look forward, step or hop feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen, fold, exhale. Press with the feet, rise up, inhale. Exhale the hands down. Inhale again, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips to fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, step back to plank, hug the elbows in, chaturanga, keep the legs firm. Inhaling up, we're dog or cobra. Exhale, back to plank, you can hold it or lower down halfway, shoulders no lower than elbows, press up and back, downward facing dog. As you spread your fingers wide, press down into the base of the fingers, lift up through the forearms, turn your outer upper arms back, spin them back, inner upper arms, your biceps spin toward the front. Press a little extra in the thumb, first finger side of the hand, look up, lightly step or hop feet to hands, lengthen, fold in on your exhale, press through the feet, rise up, long spine, look up, exhale, Samastitihi, which means steady balance. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold, hinging at the hip creases. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, step or float. If you float, land in Chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet. Exhale, stretch back to plank. Either stay or Chaturanga, press up and then to downward facing dog all the way back. Make sure the feet are hips width apart. The outer edges of your feet are parallel. Press the weight up toward the hips and then reach it down toward the heels. Firm the legs. Keep the arms and ears in line. Inhale, lift your right leg back and up from the inner thigh. Exhale, hug it in, shoulders above wrists. Draw that knee in toward the belly, hovering, and then step it up by the right hand. Come on up, make sure right knee's over ankle, bend the left knee, tilt your pelvis forward, and then straighten it out. Pull your right hip back, reach up through arrow, straight arms, draw your front ribs down, lift back ribs up, exhale the hands down to plank, lowering chaturanga, inhaling upward facing dog, exhaling downward facing dog. On the inhale, left leg lifts, back and up from the inner thigh. Keep the hips level. Exhale, hover, shoulders above wrists. Hug that left knee in toward the belly. Take a breath here. Exhale, step it up by the left hand. Bend the back knee to come up. Then tilt the pelvis forward. Lengthen your sitting bones. Stretch up through the arms. Now straighten that back leg and pull your left hip back. Draw your front ribs down. Lift your back ribs up. Exhale, bring the hands back down, plank and chaturanga. Inhale, press through hands and feet. Exhale, tuck the toes into downward facing dog all the way back. Even out your breath here, so your inhales and your exhales are equal in length. Look up, lightly step or hop the feet. Inhale, halfway lift exhale fold in let's bend the knees drop the hips into chair pose as you inhale and then come to samasthiti exhale inhale again bend the knees drop the hips into chair pose exhale belly to thighs then straighten the legs as much as they will inhale lengthen look up exhale step or float into chaturanga inhale pressing up roll the shoulder heads back Exhale to down dog. Inhale, step the right foot up, spin the back heel down for warrior one. Exhale, right away moving, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, press through the hands and feet. Exhale, stretch all the way back. Right away, step the left foot up, spin the back heel down, warrior one. Make sure left knee's over ankle. Exhale, chaturanga, hug the elbows in. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, stretch all the way back, evening out the breath here. Remember, take a child's pose and rest. Hit the pause button anytime you like. It's one of the great benefits of practicing at home. Take two more breaths here. And then bend the knees, step or hop feet to hands. Look up and lengthen on the inhale. 
Fold on the exhale, bend the knees, drop the hips, inhale, chair pose, exhale to stand. Once again, we'll inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips, Utkatasana chair. Let's hold it here, sit back a little lower, shift the weight to the heels a little lower, a little bit lower, take the hands down or not, sit all the way down onto your bum for boat pose, Navasana. Keep the spine nice and long, now extend the right leg, squeeze the knees. Now extend the left leg, squeeze the knees, lift the chest, right leg straight, and inhale, left leg straight, inhale, both legs straight, keep the chest lifted, exhale, lower halfway down, come on up, inhale, exhale, halfway down, if it bothers your back, just stay up, inhale up, exhale, halfway down, inhale, come on up, cross at your ankles, Roll forward, step or float to Chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet. Tuck the toes, exhale for downward dog. Right foot steps, back foot flat. Inhale again, warrior one, knee over ankle. Exhale, ride the breath down through Chaturanga. Then inhale to press up. Exhale, stretch back. Step the left foot up, the back heel is down. Warrior one, inhale, knee over ankle. Exhale again through Chaturanga, or you can hold plank and skip it. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, stretching all the way back. Even out the breath here, arms and ears in line. Pull the ribs and belly in and up from the legs. Rest if you need it, but we're going to walk the feet about as wide as the mat. Walk the hands back to the feet. Squat down into Malasana. So squatting down, make sure your knees are lined up with your middle toes. So if your knees go out, your toes will go out. If you can point your knees forward, point your toes forward. Drop your buns down, lift your chest, and keep your spine really long. Stretching out the lower back, taking a little break. Then walk yourself back into Downward Facing Dog. Extending back here. Look up, pass the fingers, lightly step or hop your feet, then inhale, halfway lift, fold in as you exhale. Bend the knees, drop the hips, Utkatasana, inhaling, and come to standing, Samastitihi. Turn to face the long side of your mat, step your feet out nice and wide, right leg all the way out, back toes in, line up heel to arch, arms up, inhale, bend your knee, exhale. Make sure your right knee is over your ankle and pointed straight ahead over the middle toes. Gaze over your right fingertips, lift your chest, then interlace your fingers behind you or, or you can hook the thumbs and wrap them around the front thigh. Look f straight ahead instead of over your right shoulder. Look toward the long side of the mat, widen your chest, stretching out the shoulders a little bit, opening the chest. Now straighten the right leg, take your feet to parallel, bring your hands toward the center of your back. Open your chest, look up. Exhale, fold, press through to Padottanasana C. Make sure the outer edges of the feet stay parallel. Pin the outer hips in. Squeeze the inner thighs gently like you're holding a big beach ball between the legs. Have a couple hikers coming down the trail saying hello. <laughs> Squeeze the legs to come up, inhale. And now... Left leg all the way out, back toes in. Make sure your left knee is over your ankle, pointed straight ahead, right over the middle toes. Lift your chest, let your shoulder blades relax a little bit, then interlace your other pinky or thumb on top. Wrap both hands around the front thigh. Open up the chest, widen the collarbones, look toward the long side of the mat. Keep pressing your back thigh back, lifting your back inner thigh up, and lift your lower belly in and up. Straighten the left leg, point your toes forward, look up, lengthen, inhale. Hinge from the hips, come forward, exhale. Try to keep your spine as long as you can. The crown of the head may or may not touch the floor, no big deal either way. Just so as long as you get a good stretch. Squeeze your outer hips, your inner thighs. Shift the weight a little toward the balls of the feet. Come on up on your inhale. And then release your hands. Arms up, 
Inhale, hold the breath, step or hop, and come to the front of the mat. Exhale. Back to Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees again, come to chair pose. Exhale, belly to thighs and straighten the legs. Look up, lengthen, inhale. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, press through the hands and feet, up dog or cobra. And then exhale to plank, chaturanga or not. And then to downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, inhale from the inner thigh. Exhale, hover, draw the knee toward the belly, shoulders over wrist, but keep breathing. And now step it up by the right hand, stand the ball of the back foot, bend the back knee a little, tilt the pelvis forward, then straighten the leg. So you can stay right here, make sure the right knee's over the ankle, stay here, especially if any knee problems, or tap the back knee down and straighten. Inhale, tap, try to keep the hips as low as you can, exhale, straighten. Inhale, tap the knee, exhale, straighten the leg. Now take the leg, take the foot flat, line up heel to arch and open up for warrior two. Reverse your warrior, make sure the right knee stays over the ankle. Exhale here, keep reversing, but straighten the right leg. Stay for the exhale, come up for triangle pose. Shorten the stance only if you like to. Hinge from your hip crease, reach, reach, reach out and down. Stretch up through the left arm. Press into the base of the big toe of the right foot. Exhale, sweep the left arm forward, down, and then behind your back. Rest it at the low back or reach around to hook it on the thigh. Roll your top shoulder back. Draw your right sitting bone under you. Press your right calf toward the shin so you're not locking out your right knee joint. Look up only if it's okay on your neck. Bend the knee. Lengthen the stance a little if you shortened it for interlock or keep the right hand down on the ankle or forearm to thigh. If you can reach it around underneath the thigh and interlock, cool. If not, also, also cool. Roll the top shoulder back. Keep bending the front knee over the ankle and then release it. Bring both hands down, come to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg back and up from the inner thigh. Exhale, knee toward belly, shoulders over wrists, hover. Take a breath here, and then step it up by the left hand. Stand the ball of the back foot, bend the back knee a little bit. Tilt the pelvis forward, make sure your left knee stays over your ankle. Stretch up through the arms, reach through the back leg. Now again, any knee problems, you're going to stay. Otherwise, tap the knee down and straighten. Inhale, lightly tap it or just bend it a little. Exhale, straighten the leg. Keep the hips low. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Now open up. Line up front heel with back arch. Make sure your knee stays over the ankle, pointed over the middle toes. Lift your chest. Gaze over your fingertips. Warrior two. Even out your breath here. And then reverse your warrior. Exhale, bend into your left knee. Keep reversing and straighten the left leg. Stay for the exhale. Come on up on your inhale. Shorten the stance only if you like to. Hinge from your hip crease. Reach, 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 reach out and down. Stretch up through the right arm. Draw the left sitting bone underneath you as you press into the base of the big toe mound of the left foot. Inhale, right arm in line with ear. Exhale, sweep it in front of you and then wrap it behind you. You can keep it at the low back or hook it onto the thigh. Do the best that you can to roll your top shoulder back. Keep pressing into that big toe mound of the left foot. Crown of the head reaching out and then maybe looking up. But if it hurts the neck, don't do it. Look down to bend the knee. Maybe you need to lengthen your stance a little. Make sure the knee's over the ankle. And if you wish, left hand underneath left thigh for the interlock. You can hold on to your shirt back there too if you can't reach your hands. Press into the front heel, press to the outer edge of the back foot, lifting the back inner thigh and releasing. Come to plank, exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, press up through the hands and feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. If you want to break, take it. You can take the knees down and take child's pose. Otherwise, even out the breath here. Inhales and exhales equal in length and make your way to plank. Step your feet together. 
I'm gonna roll to the pinky toe side of the left foot and reach the right arm up. You can always take the bottom knee down for more support. Bring your top hip slightly forward so hips are lined up. Firm the legs, lengthen your sitting bones to heels. Pull in your belly a lot. Take the hand down, come to plank. You can stay there or chaturanga. Inhaling upward dog. Exhaling downward dog, stretch back. Just a breath. Pull the belly and ribs in, come back to plank. Feet together, rolling to the pinky toe side of the right foot and lifting up through the left arm. Bring your top hip a little bit forward so the hips are lined up. Lengthen your sitting bones toward your heels. Keep the legs nice and firm. If you can look up toward the top hand, do otherwise no worries. Make your way back to plank. You can go right to down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Even out your breath. Inhales and exhales equal in length. Make your way back to plank. Knees can be up or down. We're gonna slowly, slowly lower all the way down to your belly. And then interlace your fingers at your low back or hook your thumbs. Pull your belly in, pubic bone down, lift your shoulders, and then lift everything up. Lift the legs from the inner thighs. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. Keep the belly lifted away from the mat to keep your low back safe. And then release. You can rest your forehead down on your hands or take one ear down onto the mat to rest. I'm gonna do some bank, some bank, some back strengthening. Yikes. Interlace again, other pinky or thumb on top. Roll the shoulders away from the mat, pull the belly in and lift everything up. Pubic bone presses down so you're lengthening your sitting bones toward the heels. Keep the back of your neck nice and long. Inner thighs lift up. Breathe, and then let it all go. Rest your forehead down or rest the other ear down onto the mat. I can either keep your arms alongside your body and lift up that way or bend the knees, reach for the little toe sides of the feet for Dhanurasana. So same actions, lift the shoulders, lift up, press the feet back, Lengthen your sitting bones toward the backs of your knees as you breathe here. Keep lifting up and pressing back. And then release it down slowly. Bring your hands by your low ribs. Inhale to upward dog or to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and stretch into downward facing dog. Look forward, step or hop and sit. Grab a block and bring it next to you and then roll on to your back. I'm gonna take bridge pose, line up your heels under your knees, make sure the outer edges of your feet are parallel, pull your belly in, lift into bridge. Low back, mid back, maybe upper back. Roll the shoulders under, interlace fingers or you can keep your arms alongside your body. Now step your feet in a little closer to one another. Draw your right knee into your chest, extend it up toward the ceiling. Keep pressing onto the left heel. Take it halfway down, line up your knees. Hold it there and now bend the knee. Take the right ankle just past the left knee, flex your ankle, but keep lifting. Keep pressing into that left heel to lift up. Now we're gonna strengthen the legs and release the right. We're strengthening those hamstring muscles. Left knee in, extend it up. Now press firmly into the right heel to keep yourself lifted. Take the left leg halfway down, line up the knees. Now bend the left knee, left ankle just past right knee, flex the ankle. Keep lifting, pressing that right heel, lifting up. Extend the leg and release it down. Lower down slowly, take a hand on your belly, a hand on your heart center, soles of feet together, knees apart, rest, close your eyes, breathe. Hmm. Gratitude for this particular day, for this moment, for this wonderful body that we have that takes us places to let us do things. All right, supported bridge pose. Grab your block, put it right at the base of the spine Make sure 
that your heels are still under your knees. And just breathe here. A couple long breaths. Cooling down. After we turned up the heat a bit today. Now bring your right knee into your chest and then your left and extend both legs up toward the ceiling. This is a variation of Vipriti Karani or legs up the wall pose without the wall. <laughs> it's very good to lower our stress levels, lower the cortisol in our body, which can sometimes make us hold on to weight that we don't need. Bend the knees, take the feet back to the floor, lift off the block, put it off to the side, roll yourself down, and hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little bit side to side. And then start to rock back and forth. If that doesn't work for you, roll to your right side and come up. Take two or three rocks if you're rocking, come up that way. Either way is great. Extend the legs for Dandasana. Take your hands next to you, sit up really tall, if it's hard to sit up tall, sit up on a blanket. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips to come forward. Lengthen again. Inhale, extend as you exhale. Pull your toes back and flex your ankles. This will help keep your legs nice and firm as you fold forward so that you don't accidentally overstretch your hamstring muscles. Keep the spine as long as you can get it. Think belly to thighs instead of thinking head to knees. Inhale is head up. Exhale to release. Now take soles of feet together, knees apart for Baddha Konasana. Sit nice and tall. Inhale. Hinging again from the hips as you exhale. Again, instead of rounding the back, lead with the chest. Keep lengthening through the spine. We will round the back momentarily, but right now, it's all about the length. Inhale to come up. Now slide your feet forward or slide your buns back so you have more space. And then exhale, round yourself down. So now we'll round down the forehead toward the feet. Get into the lower back, a little bigger stretch there as well as stretching inner thighs, outer hips. Inhale slowly up. And then take your knees together. Roll yourself down onto your back. And then take your hips over the right a little, drop your knees to the left, look over your right shoulder. Try and turn your belly up toward the ceiling as you make this twist. Keep the inhales and exhales equal in length. Twisting is so good for many, many things, including digestion. Take the knees to center, hips to the left, knees to the right. Look over your left shoulder, unless it bothers your neck. Turn your belly up toward the ceiling to get the twist a little more intense, if it feels okay on your body. Yoga helps us to feel better, so do the things in your body that feel better. Come to center, hug both knees into the chest. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the floor. Release your feet back down and then extend the legs and then let your arms come out to the sides with your palms facing up. Feet flop open. Release your breathing, just natural breathing now. Our quote is from an unknown author. This bright new day, complete with 24 hours of opportunities, choices, and attitudes. A perfectly matched set of 1,440 minutes. This unique gift, this one day, cannot be exchanged, replaced, or refunded. Handle with care. Make the most of it. There is only one to a customer. Rest. I'll be back in a moment.
breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Begin to circle your wrists and your ankles. Inhale, stretch your arms overhead for a long stretch. And then bend the knees. Carefully roll yourself onto your right side. And thank yourself for taking your practice today. Good work. Slowly make your way up to seated. Sit up nice and tall. Let's bring our hands together. Bring the hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Our hands to the heart center, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And our hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Let's send out this positive energy we created to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Great job, Yogi. Thanks for joining me today. For more yoga classes every day, go to fightmasteryoga.com and click the daily yoga class. You can practice every day together. And don't forget the survey, that link is below. Seriously, takes three minutes. One more thing, hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell because I'm making all kinds of videos for you and I don't want you to miss any of them. I'll see you soon, bye.